So now we're going to do money supply or the money markets with investment demand. Set up my two graphs. Got my money supply, nominal interest, money demand, investment demand. Shows how much gross private investment exists at that level of interest. And now, if we're going to have a decrease in the money supply, that is going to be something contractionary. So it's sell bonds to make small bucks, raise the reserve ratio, which will lower excess reserves, so banks can't loan out as much because they're required reserves, the two capital R, is what they have to keep now. That's going to make interest rates go up, makes investment go down, aggregate demand goes down, causes price levels to decrease, which is our contractionary policy. GDP is going to decrease. So we did get inflation to go down, but unfortunately, we caused some unemployment. So now what that's going to look like on the graph is we increase right and decrease left, so we're going to have a leftward shift. MS to MS1, decreasing or shifting to the left. Yeah. Is it me or is it that blurry? It's, it's really blurry. It looks like you got water on your market. You know, it's uh, I don't. It's this. Hmm. Alright. So say contractionary, right? Yeah, this is contractionary. So now, wherever we had our leftward shift, where it crosses and goes over, you can see that at a higher level of nominal interest, we're going to have less investment.